actually realize that Muslims and Islam is not so good after all. Fun of a cow, mammals. Got a really good story for you tonight. Now, Rebecca Sommer, a feminist and the founder of a German human rights group, Arbeitsgruppe Flucht Menschenrechte, was, which taught Middle Eastern immigrants to speak German, gave an interview with a Polish magazine released yesterday in which she expressed her regret for supporting Angela Merkel's immigration plans after years of mistreatment and manipulation by the very immigrants she wished to help. Her concerns began after the disaster that was New Year's 2016, where the behavior of the North African and Middle Eastern immigrants in Cologne shocked her to her feminist core. As she put it in the interview, this is the moment when I thought, Rebecca, now you have to put a stop to it, if only as an activist for women's rights. Logic be painful. Yeah, and honestly, it's not like she had complete logic here. She's still leaning heavily on her feminist nature, but at the same time, one step at a time, right? It's not like we expect these people to be brilliant. And at least, apparently, she's not immune to said logic, so... We're going forward. Congrats. I mean, the quotes from this interview, which was in Polish, so I had to find a French translation of it that was put up on alt media sites in France in order to translate it myself, uh, are really impressive, like this one. I thought that their medieval vision would change over time, but after seeing these situations repeat themselves and observing what was happening around me as a volunteer, I had to recognize that in the case of Muslim refugees, they had grown up with totally different values. They have been brainwashed since childhood and are indoctrinated by Islam and have absolutely no intention of embracing our values. Worse still, they look at us, the infidels, with disdain and arrogance. Uh, the only thing I can respond what? to that with is, told you so. Hmm. We've been telling you so for hundreds of years. Yeah. But apparently when uh, she found out they were calling her a stupid German whore while eating her own garden produce, yeah. it started yeah. hamming in. Quite literally, the, uh, they, uh, the translation is the stupid German whore. But of course, she didn't speak Arabic well enough at that time to realize what they were saying. It was only later, after she had heard it so many times, that she could repeat it to someone else. Uh, we have a, I've got a few more quotes here from her. It's, I mean, honestly, it's, it's things everyone has tried to say to these people before, but hearing it from the mouth of a woman who spent the last three, four years trying to work with these immigrants and finally coming to the realization, it's amazing to hear. Such as, uh, we have a huge problem with the left and the greens for whom there is no German culture in reference to the fact that the, uh, the Christian Democrats and the SP, uh, SDF have no interest in protecting German culture in the face of the, what is it, a million immigrants in Germany at this point? Oh, I think it's nearly two. It was 1.4. Yeah. <clears throat> that is absolutely insane. Uh, and by the way, this is the that full, is, this is the full like stupid so. German whore quote. I suddenly realized that those people I had helped, who ate, drank, danced and laughed with me, who did not pray, who did not go to the mosque, who did not respect Ramadan, who did not care of religion and deeply religious people. They did not call me anything other than the stupid German whore when they ate my food and rested in my garden. Well, what do you expect when you're giving these people free reign, absolutely, you know, uh, yeah, cat butt, absolutely wonderful, isn't it? Perfect timing. Yeah, Rita knows what to show these, uh, show these uh, immigrants. <laughs> I'm here and I will use it. <laughs> 
Oh, what we're seeing though, and she confirmed what a lot of other people in a second article that was published on um, lenta.ru uh, are saying, and that is that German people are looking to move to Poland and Hungary because these places will become islands of stability in Europe, as the quote says. Because we remember the gates of Vienna. Yeah, no kidding. Well, I mean, you guys actually dealt with them. The Prussians sent you guys to deal with them. They begged us to come and help and rescue them and deal with these guys, because you know how. <laughs> yeah, we did. We <sighs> stick them on a sharp top pine uh, toy trunk. It, I mean, this looks like it's going to be the the beginning of a turning point in Europe, in my opinion. Uh, Angela Merkel has been losing power, and she has had to negotiate very, very weakly with the uh, the uh, Socialist Democrats in Germany just to attempt to build a coalition. And even still, she had to give up on a lot of her positions to get that far. I'm super. Why don't they use Uncle Vlad's tactic? Bring dogs to the meeting. Bring dogs. Uh, this, of course, is in reference to the fact that he loves to intimidate people before meetings by letting his dog walk into the room before him. Ironically, this was when he had Connie, and Connie was like the most gentle Labrador ever. I mean, listen. Putin actually had to put out a public statement on his website. Please stop feeding my dog cookies. She's fat anyway, okay? Please don't do it. I'm not shitting you. He made a statement. Don't feed my dog. <laughs> I'm just at this point where I'm like, it's about time these feminists are actually speaking up because it's been, since Cologne alone, it's been two years of rapes, abuse, uh, we have fewer and fewer volunteers who are at all willing to work with the overwhelming number of immigrants. And I, I mean, this woman's group alone, uh, they were supposed to actually, I went and looked it up, they were actually supposed to be there at uh, New Year's Just Past, uh, the one where they had the, uh, the safe space areas. And they were supposed to be there so that if a woman felt assaulted or, you know, assaulted or abused, she'd have a psychologist or a social worker to talk to. Except they had, they did not have the ability because there were no volunteers willing, except the smallest amount of people. And of course the Red Cross who get money from the fucking IMF. But now we're going to be seeing Germans, we're going to be seeing Frenchmen moving to Poland, to Hungary, because these places, you know, did what they should. These places like bacon. Yeah, absolutely. And they bacon like, and vodka. They like their bacon so much, they are not willing to have someone come in and tell them not to eat it. Oh, indeed. They like their bacon, their ham, and their vodka so much that even if you try to say a bad word about them, well... Please repeat that in front of these bald-headed Adidas uh, uh, tracksuit wearing hooligans oh, over there. Gopniks. Oh, gotta love the Gopniks. Oh, yeah. The Gopniks. Uh, I love Gopnik. You know what? I honestly. <laughs> no, you're a go what, What's the word? Gopnista? Mm, there's not actually a word for that. There is isn't. Okay. version. The point is, you know what, what I've been ironically seeing about the Gopniks? Hmm. They're far better behaved at the end of the day than people that claim they're intellectual. And you know what? Do you know how many times I had an intellectual let me pass in front of them in a line in a supermarket or an intellectual help me carry anything or whatnot? Never. A gop One time I walked out of the supermarket with 24 liters of water, 12 on each side, because sewer water stinks, everyone. Right? I mean, the water in your tap. It's not good. Yeah, yeah. It tastes funky. Carrying that out 
and I set it for a moment before I walk to my car. And what happens? A Gopnik rounds up, picks it up from both my sides, and where do you want me to take this lady? Because it's too heavy. And he did not even ask if I need help or whatnot. He's just like, well, by damage, chivalry is not dead after all. Although I bet he asked you to and I've a been to, And I've been actually. No, he did not. Oh. He wanted nothing. Oh, amazing. No, see, this is the thing I've been seeing lately. Gopniks are actually... They're better behaved men than uh, intellectuals, as they were. An intellectual will ignore you even if you're fucking dragging a gigantic piece of furniture and you're a woman, as it were. So default technically supposed to be weak. It doesn't matter if you really are. Because if he's an actual intellectual, he probably has less muscle mass than you do. Point is, well, that's not fair. Mommy should have taught you to do. I mean, yeah. To be fair, mommy should have taught you this, right? Yeah, absolutely. He won't do shit. If a Gopnik sees that, he's gonna have fucking help you, because mm -hmm. they actually have it ingrained in their brain. You know what? I'm not a Good cultured person, but this shit ain't right here. And they won't, I want anything in return. If you offer to them, they'll accept, but if you don't, it's still okay. They'll do it for a thank you and they're glad with themselves. You know I've seen more civilization and cultured behavior and chivalry from Gopniks in the last five or ten years than I've seen from people wearing. Mm, suits and glasses and yeah yeah you know let alone the immigrants in the country the immigrants if they're legal they get walked out under armed guns uh, and uh, kicked out remember we still have uh, caucasian shepherds yeah. guarding the borders right and that's why the germans so went in <laughs> uh, i will say i'm actually really impressed uh at the foresight of Hungary, because when those immigrants were, when the floodgates were opened by Turkey, Hungary had them on their land for a long time, very illegally, and they were waiting at the German border. And all their, and here's Hungary saying, okay, Merkel, open the fucking border, open the fucking border, get these people out of my fucking land. <laughs> and they did, and then didn't let anyone else in. <laughs> and now France and Germany are going to see an exodus to save their own cultures, essentially. Pretty much. I mean, let's put it this way. Polacks are kind of like, mm, we've gone capitalist at one point. You bring enough money, we'll let you in, whatever. Yeah, and, and I can assure you, Germans will be bringing money. Even poor Germans are pretty fucking well off. That's because they have their German pensions, don't they? Yes, <laughs> yes. Oh, gotta love those German pensions. Oh, for a second, I thought you were gonna drink the vodka in pride for your Gopnik heritage. I can. I don't care. Oh, if I had something to drink with you other than Coke, I would. I mean, I love Coke. Coke is the liquid of life, the way I see it. Oh, yeah. But if you want, whatever. <laughs> yeah, shitty brand. Fuck you. Anti-Russian sanctions. And that's all I have to say. This is why I have to drink this shit, you know? Well, wait until the Germans come over. They're gonna fuck with... The, the Germans are gonna be like, wait, sanctions on Russian alcohol? No, 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 no. <laughs> I mean, guys, listen. This country is too poor to deal with it itself. However, if you want to pay for it, get us actual Ruski standard from Russia. Get, get us actual Imperia, please, for a decent price. Get us even Stolichnaya as long as it's made in Mar the shit in, from Lithuania. We are. Because there are two Stolichnayas. Most people, you look at the bottle. If you're West, you probably got the crap from Lithuania. Well, yeah, in the United States, we, you can actually find it says Lithuania on the bottle. Mm-hmm. But in and America... that's a shit one. Well, the America, one from Moscow, that's a good one. 
in America, we still have some very severe sanctions on Russia. And, I mean, six in one hand, half a dozen in the other. It would be political suicide for Trump to uh, revoke the Magnitsky Act and related sanctions. However, at the same time, it seems kind of stupid to keep them around when Russia's a far better friend right now, even with the disagreements between our countries. Uh, what well, disagreements at the end of the day, actually, you know? Okay, Congress's disagreements. Mm. But yeah, as I've, I, as I've made pretty clear, there's only like a few people in Congress I even like, and most of them are fucking leaving in order to make a statement about term limits. Mm. <sighs> but I see this, I really do see this as a turning point for, um, for Europe, because if Germans want to leave Germany because the culture is being destroyed, eventually the problems are st gonna stop being in the hands of the working class because there won't be much of a working class. It'll be elites who are all in high, you know, who are all far too good to deal with the riffraff of immigrants and this and the like. And when they have to, well, suddenly voices are the gonna moment, change. I have a feeling the moment they notice, they're gonna turn east and whoops, there's a fucking wall on the Polish border. Build a wall. Build a wall. Build a wall. Oh, man. I really do want to see... Well, I, I want to see Germany get its just desserts, honestly. Because they've been fucking with Eastern Europe for far too long. I mean, Romania wouldn't, accept, wouldn't even be accepting immigrants if it weren't for their dependency on German money. That Deutsche Euro. And, uh, you know, Hungary, they're getting by barely. Poland, they're getting by barely, but they're standing by their guns. See, this is the... Yeah, see, this is the thing you need to know about. Getting by barely or not getting by at all. Mm -hmm. A Slav will starve and suffer to prove his point. Oh, absolutely. We're that type of people. You don't even have to be of Slav blood. You can be of gypsy blood, so long as your family went through Slavic countries. <laughs> it has its influence. It really does. It also teaches you to squat for hours at a time. Mm-hmm. Honestly, I, I prefer squatting than sitting. It's more comfortable. No shit, if you know how, it's actually more comfortable. No, it is. You just have to make sure you've got your fucking balance right. Mm-hmm. Your body falls right into place. It's actually a very natural human position to sit in. Mm-hmm. We've gotten spoiled by chairs. More like, to me, tortured by chairs. I can't sit in a chair properly to feel comfortable. I can't either, honestly. I don't, I don't know if you notice, I'm talking, of course, to you, Red. Uh, but mm. I have to get up every two hours. You know, I can't sit there for long periods of time. I have to get up and stretch and everything, or else I'm just like, oh, God, fuck me. Awful. I mean, <laughs> I mean, the best I do when sitting in a chair is like... This is how I fucking sit in a chair. Demonetized. Curl. <laughs> oh, but yes. Oh, YouTube discrimination. I am female spreading here, and I have shorts to prove it. Woman spreading. <laughs> but yes, I I can't wait to see where Europe is going to go next because this article has made it through France. Uh, it's being blocked in Germany, unfortunately, because they have hate speech laws on social media, and these hate speech laws are so egregious that even this article doesn't seem to be making it into the German language. But as this story makes the rounds, and of course you can find the links to the story below, in, you know, hopefully your native language, whether it be Russian, Polish, or French, or, you know... You and if you still can't, Google Translate has been improving precisely and you can spend some time reading this story which is it's about fucking time simply put hmm. that said we're we've been going for about 20 
I've been watching um, right. Life of Boris at, at your fucking instruction. You showed me this shit. Oh my god. Shout out, Boris. We're shouting you out. Shout us out. Be a Slav, even if you're from St. Peter's. Peter's folk. Oh god, but no, if you haven't watched... I'm a mainlander, I can't help it. Yeah. If you, I mean, if you haven't uh, seen Life of Boris, go watch. He will teach you all the Russian you need to know, by which I mean all the curse words. <laughs> uh, what is it? Um... The curse words, he says, is all you need to know except... You will survive in Russia. I don't yeah. know. If, as far as I can tell, you can get by with sukhobliat in most situations, unless you're sitting with your mother. <laughs> yes, but it's actually like beneficial to say, say spasiba bolshia to your local store lady. She will keep you the best cuts of meat in the butcher shop. I will keep that in mind. Uh, honestly, I'm I'm honestly very frustrated with um this is a story that no one seems to want to cover, is the fact that Germany's cooking their books to hide their trade surplus. I mean obviously it's politically incorrect and the press has been politically correct for a long time. Yes, of course. But at the same time I mean these are the people that try to pretend Castro is an all loving revolutionary. How many years has it been? Yeah, no shit. Oh man. Germany has an eight billion dollar surplus with the US. They have basically an infinite percent surplus with Romania, with um Lithuania. I'm pretty sure they've got a pretty solid trade surplus with Poland. The only countries that I mean they've got a trade surplus with the UK. And that's something that should have never happened after World War Two. Or World War One for that matter. And then Theresa May. Theresa May is just a coward. Uh, vote okay. My English my Englishman. Vote her the fuck out. You people put on a good fight with the Americans during the revolution. You used to be the biggest empire in human history. What the fuck is wrong with you? You used to be ex fucking respectable. You took on Napoleon with us. You're a joke right now. Find your bulls, go to fight, and put them up. Uh, they're not gonna do that until someone is- someone better is in, uh, god I can't remember the name, it's, it's 10 Downey Place or something like that. I forgot the name of the street offhand. In the Prime Minister's office. And that's why they need to get- cause... Now, you, you people like your movies. Mm-hmm. For all its shitty propaganda, you remember before? People should not be afraid of their government. It's their government that should be afraid of the people. Fucking yes. Thank you. And on that note, I'm going to call it there and get to editing. Thank you all so very much, and... Bonsoir.